A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there to my channel The Twin Flame Union. This is an information video. I normally don't share messages from other people, but I really found this note written by someone on Quora to be very apt and useful information. And I personally feel that sometimes information videos, a lot of time in fact, uh information videos can be very very helpful because they can give you a lot of clarity and i love to give credit to anyone who has said something which is completely on point this answer is written by katharina there are many answers actually many people have answered to this question and you can also go and answer to this question but i found this answer to be very short simple snappy and very straightforward it might sound like a bit crude to someone but in my opinion information if it's good it's okay if it's crude but it's a good piece of information so the title of this is does the runner twin flame miss the chaser does the runner twin flame miss the chaser now this is a question that a lot of people have but this question is good for those people who are in the beginning stages and they have recently started figuring out that there is something as intense as separation or getting blocked by the runner and this is also going to apply to people who have initially started going through this phase and it can also help someone who wants to get a complete overview of why this is happening so katharina on kora wrote the runner is a mess of a person he or she has a roller coaster of emotions at the same time extremely low self esteem and is often very immature a bit like a teenager in puberty all over the place yes he she misses you but at the same time is happy to be at a safe distance the runner is effed up in their mind and has a lot of deep wounds that only he she can heal Most of the time they need assistance in the process and it's not the runner's fault but nonetheless you have a problem when dealing with such a person the chaser's wound is abandonment the absence of the runner makes the chaser aware of this wound when the chasers heal this wound by learning to be whole and happy without emotional attachments he can finally let go he or she this time when the chaser lets go is called separation i just want to add something over here about separation i feel that a lot of people look at separation like something very dreadful you should definitely not look at it as something dreadful you should actually look at it as a phase where you can be completely on your own and you don't have the pressure or you don't have that uh, feeling that you have to you know like the divine masculine is around because during this phase or before separation the dms are not very easy going also or even though there are those moments of profound love there are also a lot of moments of fears and insecurity so this is the time when you can actually explore a lot about yourself and do so much more so coming back to the note this time is of uttermost importance it gives the runner time to grow up on his own without mommy helping out The chaser in the meantime focuses on earthly things like their mission and physical and mental recovery from the traumatic experience of the runner cutting them off and abandoning them. Basically, it's a time for the chaser to heal. As time goes by, they check upon each other to see if they have both matured enough to be together for good. The chaser needs to learn to level up their standards and realize their worth so this note ends over here i know it's very short but i think it's crispy and for those of you who can understand would relate with the answer thank you so much for being here with me i will catch you in a channeling session soon till then keep spreading one love peace out